Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, in this video, we will see how to use uh, TypeGuard in a React TypeScript application. I have a Next.js application in front of me. I have created an example and so that I can demo you or show you that how can you use TypeGuards in a React application. So if you don't know anything about TypeGuard, so uh, in TypeScript, a TypeGuard is a way to narrow down the type of variable or object within your code. So TypeGuards are often used to perform like runtime checks and ensure that value conforms to a specific type or interface. So what do I mean by that? So, uh, so let's first of all go to our types file. So uh, I have created this uh, component. So we'll, go, we'll get to this component before that. I sh I'll show you the types file. So we have two type of interface here, the task and the node. So I give it, uh, so I created this example where we have like two kind of activities happening on our UI. So first is task and another is node. So you can see th uh, they have like different data types. So in inside task, we have type, ID, title, and completed. In node, we have type, ID, and content. So different interfaces, but sometimes what happen is uh, you will get some kind of data in that in, in a format where everything will be like mushed together. So how will you extract data? Let's say it's coming from an API. How can you extract that data and show it on UI? And it might look something like uh, this. So see, we have like a list and we have like task and note. Uh, so task, we have a title and then we have a status. So in the notes, we have uh, content, ID and type. So data coming in has different types. So we can have either a type of task or we have type of node. So if it's a task, then we will have like all these fields. If it's a type of node, then we will have all these fields. Uh, we can see that in our UI as well. So let's see how to uh, fetch this data. Let's say this is, uh, we're fetching this data and how can we show it uh, in a type guard way. So first of all, we will create our types file here. So, uh, I'll, I'll create a type file called types.ts and then we have interface task and node. It's pretty straightforward. And then in our page, we are sending that uh, items array. It's an array of object. And then we are passing that as props to our type guard example. So if we go to type guard example, we can see that it's accepting a prop, uh, which is items. And it could be an array of task or array of note. So that's our component. And then we have some type guard functions. So over here, the first of all is, uh, the first one we have is is task. And another one is is note. So what it's doing right now, so if we quickly see the code, uh, we are looping through that uh, array which we are sending from page.tsx, this one. So we're looping over this via map. Uh, that's fine. We're passing a key index, which is fine because you need it in React. And then we're checking, we're conditionally rendering uh, the data here. So first of all, we're checking, uh, we, we are passing our is task function and we are passing that item uh, which is coming from that item sorry so if this condition is true i mean if the data is in this shape then we will be showing you this content and otherwise if this is false then all we need to do is show you uh, this uh, and if, if we're not sending anything i mean if the data we, we don't specify then uh, we will show uh, this unknown type item so this is pretty straightforward. You can easily understand uh, if you ever worked in a React application. The juice is here. So the type card is actually defined here in these two functions. So first of all, it's accepting a prop called item. Sorry, it's accepting uh, an argument uh, called item. And then, so item is task is a type predicate uh, that's used as part of type card function. Uh, so item is a variable as I already defined, like it's a variable. And is task is a type assertion. So this is an assertion. So what we are saying is if item has a type of task, so whatever task, whatever, whatever type task has, we can see it here. So type, uh, the task has these types. So whatever task has, item has the same. Then we'll check if it has any item. And then we check the type, if it's task. And then if it has an ID, the title in that uh, item and complete in an item because see, we are defined it over here. So it's in order to make it, work in order to pass this function, in order to return it true, we need to make sure all these checks are fine. If they are there, then this function will turn true. And similarly, we'll do for is node. So we're checking the, the item here and making sure it's a type of node. And then we are just going and matching like whatever we define inside our types file. 
we have type note and content and the same we have over here so in the case this is false see over here if it's false then we will go to is item and pass our item here and then it will check uh, this statement I mean it will check uh, all those conditions and if let's say we have a kind of data which is uh, which has like even some weird data let's say if I copy that and maybe give it uh, maybe like a random and give it a value of 5 and then just call it uh, random project and if I run our code see it will return a non item type because we are checking if item has if the type over here the condition will be saying if it's if these two conditions are false, then we will show you this. And the reason we are seeing this squiggly line here, that it says that the random is not assignable to type task or note, because see, if you go to our types file, we see the type must strictly be either of type task or note, and we are passing it some random value, that's why I didn't like it. Even though like it will render in the UI, like we don't see any error here, but TypeScript will complain that, oh, you're passing the wrong, wrong, uh, wrong kind of data. So yeah, so that's it. Uh, that's probably the basic uh, example to understand uh, how type cards work in a TypeScript React application. So yeah, so if you have any question, just feel free to post in the comment and I'll reply. And again, thanks a lot for watching.